today, this right? conference will now be recorded. What are the things we had did till yesterday? We have an OIM, right? We have Oracle Identity Manager, and we just integrated our OIM with Active Directory. <clears throat> okay. And what are the things we had did? There are some users in the OIM. We also configure our connector and IT resource and provision those users to the AD. Apart from that, we also seen how to add, let's say there are some entitlements, right, or group on the Active Directory side. How to bring back those Active Directory, let's say entitlements to the OIM side so that user will request those entitlements, right? So these things, the very basic things we had discussed. This is very easy, not much. Configuring a connector is not that much hard because you guys already con configured uh, different connectors right here. So this is not that much hard. Now the thing is in real time, why I'm going to discuss today's class is why that much important because you know in the real time when you start working, the thing is like that already the things are provisioned, already the things had reconciled, but what happens you will get you will get issues let's say tomorrow provisioning is not running till yesterday it was running you only ran the provisioning right it happened with you guys also when you work in your project but today provisioning is not even running right why it could be what apart from this how to understand because of the reconciliation you run or provisioning you run let's say for talk about ad right what are the tables what are the lookups a to z what are the things is affected when you integrate OIM to AD and you provision the user? So today we are going to perform the complete post-mortem on this. And this is very, 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 very important lecture because if you know one target system properly, it's very, very easy to follow the Oracle document and understand the next target system. So today I will explain you how after the integration what are the tables first got affected <clears throat> okay so very important just keep in mind so here you can see i already logged into my sql developer and what are the tables got affected because of that so the very first table right the always you should check one thing there is one table like usr table right select star from usr let me tell you one important thing. Had you noticed one thing whenever you integrated OIM with OUD as well, that moment of time, say so there is some ID related to this user. Let's say the ID was, let's say Nirmala 2 is the name of this person. Let's say <coughs> there is some accounts. Let's say there is one account on the Active Directory side, let's say ACC1. In right now we are not uh, doing this, but in case of let's say reconciliation from target system, which is called target recon. When you run the target recon, that moment of time you actually see you associate one account with any user, right? You not create user from the account, right? This is account. See, both are the user details, but in the target side, the same thing is called account. In OIM side, the same thing is called user. So when you run the target reconciliation, actually the account will associate it, let's say, with a Nirmala user, for example. So while this association will done, when this association will done, that moment of time some checks need to be required right like x equal equal to x or not similarly like there should be one field that should be equal here okay so let's say user login or let's say username or let's say first name or common name any field it's up to the business is equal equal to this that moment let's go to the user tab and that's the user normal uh, I, I know this option okay let me let me do that let me do that so now you just guide me how I will uh, anyone. It's not only Kalpana means can guide me how I will come to know what are the lookups has been created for AD. B because a connector oh, will not tell, right? Sorry. Star AD star. AD star. Okay, star then. AD star. AD star. No, it's showing something else, right? Lookup dot ad star. Lookup dot ad star. Okay. <coughs> star lookup dot ad star. No, lookup lookup because uh, every lookup starts with lookup only. So we not put star in the beginning. Okay. I think. Yep. So we no need problem. to give the group ad underscore. Uh, okay. Let AD. me let me try that. Uh, 
let's say look up dot uh tell me look up dot no sanjit uh, in the group section right okay group section in the group okay, let me try this and d underscore yeah ud underscore ud underscore yes now go search not working right okay only uh, ud underscore ready you okay ud underscore ad user not working right okay one yeah. minute let me close my door uh, if you can only look up okay so is, these things actually you can see it's like hit and trial right and these are not working at all so what is the best way i am just going to tell you because it will help you in real time as well sorry yeah minu in db we know that table uh, yes, contains there the is a table inside. yes there is a table in the db where all lookups you will find for a particular target system it's very nice you know just go to any child lookups you have very simple copy this lookup name click on here a new window will open and search there you will see the parent the user management lookup again have five child lookups the connector functionality this connector configuration will fail so this is the second user navneet let me try to request this account for the navneet and let me see if i am able to request the account or not so click on next okay and here at this phase what i will do i will tell where to provision this user let's say i want uh, ou equal to people we need to provision right click on update click on submit pasted and i see an underscore was missing so i immediately made here underscore is this place this place underscore was missing between user and id okay how i come to know underscore was missing because these fields means all these fields have underscore means these fields have underscore paste it not this in case of process task adapter the adapter need to be encapsulate like chocolate like you had eat mahalacto chocolates or any chocolates they are in the wrap up right so you need to wrap up your adapter in a you have okay bye. okay guys thank you bye yeah thank you bye